I still can't believe I'm doing this, but as nervous as I am, it was my first fight, so I had to take her out. Now, I may be aggressive, but I'm not a violent person, but I had to want to hurt her. I had to take all of those nerves and emotions and turn them into aggression. I mean, I had a fight to win. I've always been an advocate for following your dreams, but I've not always typically practiced what I preached. Fear and complacency are probably the two biggest things that hold us back in life. We're scared to lose, and we don't want to compromise our pride. To me, this journey wasn't just about doing something I've always wanted to do. It was about taking myself out of my comfort zone and forcing myself to grow. And the type of growth that I was looking for, it required me to take risk. It required me to leap and it potentially required me to lose a couple of times. And as dramatic as it sounds, I felt myself slowly dying inside and I had to steer fear in the face. Teaming up with Roy Gums is probably one of the best things that's happened to me when it came to preparing for this fight. That man took me to places that I never even knew I could go, both mentally and physically. You know, life is all about making sacrifices. And um, I think she's made a great sacrifice, you know, on a terrific journey in, in coming from Abu Dhabi every day to train with me. I mean, I feel honored, you know, that somebody's coming from that far to train with me. But um, I think she will reap the rewards from it because, um, you know, she has made a sacrifice. There's something about turning 30 that makes you wake up. It makes you want to do all the things that you never did because stupidly you feel that much closer to the end. I never really had any doubts, you know, um, but the weight she was carrying, that created a little concern in my mind because I know she had to lose five kilos in six weeks and you know that was one of my concerns really but she's dedicated herself and she's taken it off you know we're well inside of the fighting weight and just ready to go now I really just want to try and push her because it's the last time she's going to be pushed before she enters into that ring and I, I need her to know what it's like deep down so that when she gets in that ring and she gets pushed deep down, she knows how to respond, she knows how to function. Although I was always confident that I was gonna win, I mean, I trained for victory, nothing else. Plus, I had a coach that believed in me. But as he put my headgear on, I was fighting back tears. I had never been so nervous in my life. There were so many emotions. Everything that I had worked hard for led me up to that moment. Not to mention that I had about 30 of my closest family and friends in the crowd chanting my name. So losing just wasn't on the cards. Having them there definitely meant the world to me. They were hype. Their energy was unmatched. All I wanted to do is do it. Regardless of the outcome, we're proud of you. Simple as. He's definitely mad proud of you. My sister got love for you. Knock him out, that's all I'm gonna say. Knock her ass, okay? Beat the brakes off her the bricks. Remember you got history. Jamaica is in the house. Oh my gosh, I'm so good to be here. It's finally fight night, fight night, fight night. All right, Deesh, you know, you know what you gotta do. We already talked about this. I'm looking forward to you taking, taking care of business today. I'm proud of you already. This journey has definitely taught me a lot about myself. It's probably one of the hardest things I've ever done and I would do it all over again. But I feel like it was bigger than boxing. It was more than just about winning a fight. This was definitely the first step towards a much bigger leap that I'm about to take. Because greatness doesn't come from chilling in your comfort zone. And the only strategy that guarantees your fail is not trying. 
Only you have the power to take responsibility and be willing to move your life forward and create your own reality. Basically what I'm saying is, push aside the excuses, be done with the complaining, dump your fears, suck it up, hold on tight and just do it.